for giving me this opportunity. I'd like to say that uh, a country that continues to have debts all the time and the debts continue to climb year by year also gets poorer and poorer. You have seen over the years how Kenya has taken loans and loans and loans. And they started from a very small amount and now we cannot even afford it. And now we are beginning to see how it's affecting us. We cannot eat because everybody is hungry in this country. You can see the government cannot even pay salaries, doctors and teachers and the police women and men, people in the civil service are not getting their due salaries on time. This is a, a pointer to the fact that we are performing very, very badly economically. The sad thing, and I keep on lamenting, is that, as it has already been said by other people, Kenya was a shining country in the past. Many countries admired Kenya, and Kenya was a destination for tourism. It was a place to admire because we have great athletes. Kenya has beautiful animals and it has very wonderful sights to see. But we have really, really fallen down. We have deteriorated so fast and so miserably to the extent that Kenyans themselves are wondering where we are going. There are no jobs for young people who are educated. Where are we headed to? We have collapsed the very system that would create or generate funds for us. We have collapsed the, uh, the sugar industry. We don't have sugar, we are importing. We do not have tea, which is supposed to be the best in the world. We are no longer great in that area. We have collapsed our cotton, which used to grow in Nyanza. Our fish industry is collapsing. Everything is collapsing. Where is the future for this country? Are we not going to be marooned with debts upon debts? And I keep on wondering, foreign countries that give us money, why do you want to give a country so poor like Kenya more money? How are we going to pay you? Why don't you ask yourselves how Kenya is going to manage the loans that Kenya continues to borrow? I think time has come for them to refuse. Kenya should be punished for stealing and for corruption because we are creating poverty ourselves. We know very well that if you, if you continue to steal and to corrupt very, very uh, big institutions that bring us money, the, uh, the, the industries such as cotton and sugar and the rest, if we are collapsing them, then, it, then we should expect the worst for ourselves. So I do blame the administration of this country. This country does not see ahead. It is ready to sink the country and then keep on mourning and mourning and saying how the world has gone very broke, how inflation has gone up. Inflation will go up because you yourself don't want to take care of yourself economically. We are not planning. Point of order? Well, your point of order, Honorable Sunguye? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can have a seat, Honorable Lombaka. Let him prosecute his I point of order. Uh, I stand on a point of order uh, concerning the corruption being mentioned by the Honorable uh, Member. That you should not uh, actually at all and at all uh, blame. Uh, the current government of Honorable William Ruto because those who corrupted this country and made their country down to was the handshake that brought everything to a standstill. He should not at all and at all blame this government once the handshake was took place uh, after uh, before 
we took over, uh, actually, the old covers were empty. They took everything. The old uh, project were the stole projects. Uh, all money has been taken. So uh, let's find how to give us time, give the president time, give this government time to correct things, to correct your mess. Thank you. I'll take that as a point of information. Honorable Wanyonyi, you had had opportunity. Let Honorable Mpaka proceed. Thank you for that. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm only blaming Kenya. I did not mention anybody's name or anybody's government. I simply say, over over time, we have taken loans without planning how to pay those loans. Now we are crying, we are mourning, we are wondering what to do with the kind of loans that we have had over time. So the argument I have is that we ourselves are to blame for messing this country economically. We have collapsed all the industries that can bring us money to make us better economically. We are poorer because of our own making. We are ourselves the people who have collapsed the country. And I think the future does not look bright as far as I'm concerned. If we do not 